Golden light dances on green leaves, twisting in perfect time with the syncopated breeze. Four inch flowers tower over ants and bees, buzz graciously in between a sanctuary, weaved of vibration sensed and unseen. I, the great human, sit in a box, staring at a screen. Eyes, anxious and dry, attempting to intellectualize the grand issues of our time. Recognizing the logic on all sides, my temples burn from the conflict inside. No escape, choppy breaths. Meanwhile, heaven's chorus continues on, patiently beckoning my harmony. I fold, I fold, I fold under the pressure of implosion, lost against ourselves as the issues are unfolding, burning heaven into hell as the sicknesses take hold of everything we love cause we're prioritizing humans as if we aren't just one small part of life's genius co-evolution. Dirt made my lunch. Worms made that dirt and worms are fed by us, decomposing. Yet today, we look at a worm with disgust. But worms are holy, literally giving us our lives. We should be praying to the earthworms, building temples for the earthworms, sitting around the dinner table saying, oh, thank you, dear earthworms. Show us how to live in a way that fosters your flourishing, because we understand that your health is our health. Your wealth is our wealth. There is no such thing as private prosperity. Our land is your land. There is no such thing as private property. I fold and the sanctuary calls. I drag my problems with me, dropping to the forest floor. I begin to breathe with the rhythm of the breeze, dance with the rhythm of the leaves, buzz with the rhythm of the bees, and I feel it welling up inside of me, a calmness within calamity, a long-sought state of clarity. All the issues that face humanity can be solved simply through reunion with nature's serenity. So I surrender me, understanding that there is no difference between myself and the sanctuary. All life, all life, all life.